Welcome to the lecture series of Switching Theory on Logic Design. Today our concept is Race Around Condition and Master Slave J.K. Fifla. Race Around Condition is one of the problem which occurs in J.K. Fifla. And for eliminating that race around condition problem, we are using master slave JK Lifla. Master slave JK Lifla. Let us see what is meant by race around condition. The race around condition that is a problem occurs when both inputs of JK Lifla are one. That is, whenever J is equal to one, K is equal to one, then this type of problem will arise. If the width of the clock per TP is too long, the state of the flip flop will k on changing from 0 to 1, 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 and so on like that for uh, each clock pulse that will uh, represent it with a lot of problems. That is, it is continuously toggling from 0 to 1, 1 to 0. This phenomenon is called race road condition. So, in order to study the race road condition, we have to clear some terms related to the clock pulse. So, let's start with clock pulse and its behavior. Generally, clock has two types of signals. The first one is level trick code. Second one is edge trick code. Coming to that level trick code. When we are using level trick code clock signal, uh, if you observe the two types of logics are available in the level trick code clock signal. Logic 0, logic 1. Where logic 0 is completely off state and logic 1 is completely on state. So whenever the logic 1 is available for the JK flip flop, right, the clock pulse if it is the logic 1 state, then the output is continuously it is toggling from 0 to 1, 1 to 0. Why? Because whenever J is equal to 1, K is equal to 1, the output of the flip flop is complemented form of the previous state. So, so whenever the this logic 1 has a high time period, then the output is continuously shifting from 0 to 1, 1 to 0, 0 to 1, 1 to 0. This is the problem called race around condition. First we will see the JK flip flop, then we will see with the timing diagram, with the timing diagram of race around condition. So see here, this is a basic JK flip flop operation, where J is equal to 1, K is equal to 1. This is the situation we got the problem. So, whenever the clock is in on condition, for 0, 0 input, previous output follows. 0, 1 out, uh, input combination, output is in the reset situation. Where 1, uh, one and 0 combination, output is in the set situation. Now, coming to the J is equal to 1, K is equal to 1 situation, the previous output is complemented and it is uh, shifted to the next state output. So, the previous output is complemented for the present state of the output of the JK flip-flop. So, this is the generalized JK flip-flop uh, symbolic representation and this is the internal logic diagram of JK flip-flop by using NAND gates. By using NAND gates. Okay, right. Now, let us see JK flip-flop timing diagram. So coming to the JK flip-flop timing diagram, in this timing diagram, the clock signals are level trick god. The clock signals are not edge trick god in this situation. When the level trick god clock signals are available, when the logic one is available, then only the output is going to change. Now coming to here, the race around condition. So here we are representing the race around condition. So see the race around condition concept. So whenever the J is equal to 1, K is equal to 1, the output of the JK flip flop is continuously shifting from logic 1 to 0, 0 to 1, logic 1 to 0, 0 to 1, 1 to 0. It is shifting continuously whenever the logic 1 is available. So availability of the logic 1 based on the availability of logic 1 in the clock pulse, the output of the clock pulse is continuously changing from 0 to 1, 1 to 0. So this is called toggling effect or race around condition that is RAC condition race around condition now here our target is we have to eliminate this race around condition okay let us see what are the solutions for race around condition how to eliminate this race around condition for eliminating race around condition we are doing two operation the first one uses of edge trick god flip-flops so by using edge trick god flip-flops 
we can eliminate this type of this type of uh, uh, race around condition problems if the clock is high for a time of interval less than the propagation delay of the flip flop then rising around condition can be eliminated this is done by using the edge trick god flip flop rather than the using level trick god flip flop so here simply you have to eliminate uses of level trick god flip flops so now we have to use uh, edge trick god flip flop in the place of in the place of level trick god in the place of level trick god you have to use edge trick god flip flop maybe positive edge trick god flip flop maybe negative edge trick god flip flip flop both are they very helpful to eliminate this uh, type of race around condition so the positive edge uses of the positive edge or negative edge trick god the flip, -flop. flip flops are very, very important the second solution is use of master slave jk flip flop so whenever the in the olden days so whenever these flip flops and clock signals are designed at that time we don't have availability of edge trick god clock signals at that time we have only level trick god signals with the level trick god clock signals only we have to construct the circuit for eliminating this race around condition that type of we are at that time we have given the solution with the master slave jk flip flop so if the flip flop is made to toggle over the one clock period then race around condition can be eliminated this is done by using master slave jk flip flop configuration let us see master slave jk flip flop so this is the master slave jk flip flop and that is the truth cable for the jk flip flop operation here the condition when j is equal to 1 k is equal to 1 previous output should be complemented here there is no other modifications are we have to do here right now coming to here it is seems to be like as a name sr latch so this is a an sr latch with controlled input and this is an sr latch with controlled input but here the complemented output of the signal is connected to j and the original output of the q is connected to this nand gate then it is termed as jk flip flop okay here we are using the first one is the jk flip flop and second one we are using as the slave flip flop this is called sr flip flop in the place of here master and slave i said that master and slave master is one flip flop slave is another flip flop that means in this master slave jk flip flop we are using two flip flops this uh, master slave flip flop configuration we can implement by using two jk flip flops or by using one jk flip flop and one sr flip flop and otherwise by using d flip flops or sr flip flops we can implement this master slave jk flip flop uh, based on our convenience here i, I have here i am representing the concept of master slave jk flip flop so for the jk flip flop the comp uh, the outputs and complemented outputs are connected to the inputs so this is the fashion of the master slave jk flip flop in this lecture we will see only master slave jk flip flop so coming to here for the one one condition the output should be represent only any one of the state okay right so i have taken a clock i have taken a clock so this clock i have connected to the first flip flop directly that is a master for the master flip flop i have given directly coming to that the inverted clock signal the inverted clock signal the same clock signal i have connected to the second slave flip flop by using any inverter by using an inverter right now coming to that see the operation of j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1 now so coming to here when j is equal to 1 k is equal to 1 for these two conditions see here j is equal to 1 k is equal to 1 and i have given the clock signal and here coming to q q bar for example take here 0 and this is 1 these are the previous state of the outputs so that 0 is connected to the here and that 1 is connected to the here one is connected to the here and i have given the clock signal so when i have given the clock signal the first master slave master flip flop is in working condition and slave flip flop is not in working condition now the slave flip flop is not in working condition right now so here you have three ones for the this nand gate for this nand gate two ones and one zero is available so we know that nand gate operation if any one of the input is zero the output is one now the output is here it is one here triple ones are there 
now the output is zero right here zero is there one is there if any one of the antiquity input is zero the output is one now here the output is one and coming to here the antiquity of how of the antiquity one more input is here it is one it is connected here now now for this na uh, antiquity operation here one is there one is there both are one both are one now here the output is going to one right right now coming to here the uh, so this is antiquity the output of here it is zero. Now here, here it is one. Now here it is zero. So one zero is combination for this uh, NAND gate. One zero is the input for this slave flip flop. For the slave flip flop. And I said that the clock pulse, uh, the clock signal is consisting of logic zero and logic one. Most of the times, logic zero and logic one both has same time period. Right. Now coming to here, actually our problem is at the output side the output is continuously toggling the output is continuously toggling so in, in this situation the second flip-flop is not in working condition the first flip-flop is uh, in working condition now the first flip-flop has taken the decision the first flip-flop has taken the decision okay but uh, the second flip-flop is not in the activated situation so for that reason we are not getting any outputs we are not getting any outputs so this is the situation present right now okay so for the past two eight, that is whenever the logic one whenever the logic one is available at this clock signal now this is in working condition but there is no output change why because the slave flip flop is in not in working condition right logic one time is over now coming to that logic zero so whenever the logic zero whenever the logic zero okay this flip flop is not in working condition now this flip flop is in working condition now this flip flop is in working condition if it is not in working condition Condition, the output of this first flip flop is fixed for some value, either maybe 1 0 or 0 1. Okay, so now I am considering the output here is 1, the output here it is 0. Now this is in working condition. If it is in working condition, there is no other input, only this 1 0 is the input here. So whenever the 1 0 is input here for the set SR flip flop, the output is going to 1 here, the output is going to 1 here and it is 0. So see here. Previously the output is 0 1. Now the outputs are 1 and 0. That is the previous output is complemented here. The previous output is complemented here. So previous outputs are 0 1. Present outputs are 1 0. So see here it is very simple operation. It is very simple operation. In this operation here we have, uh, our problem is whenever the logic 1 that is level triggered in the level triggered clock signal whenever the positive logic will be available that is logic 1 is available at that particular situation the flip flop is in the toggling condition so at that time I am not taking the outputs the previous output will be available there in the master and slave JK flip flop master is in working condition and slave is not in working condition so if the master is worked also I am not getting any output okay I am not getting any output and this master flip flop has taken some decision that means the output it is given 1 and 0 now what the slave flip flop will work to so when the clock signal is getting the negative edge this master is in not working condition the slave is in working condition so whatever the input is there the slave will take the same input to the output 1 0 input is there the output is also 1 0 so see here master slave what is the relation between master and slave master is a decision maker and slave is in a follower so master if the master will give one the slave will take the one and it will uh, follow it is it shifts to the somewhere if the master will not give anything the slave is also not giving anything so the same master slave relationship uh, here we established the master flip flop has taken decision and the slave flip flops follows the decision to the output uh, whenever the logic one is not available so after logic one implementation at the time of logic level zero that output is shifted to at the end point so this is the master slave jk flip-flop note it down or if you note it down this is the master slave jk flip -flop.